In this VDR Suite demo, I'll walk you through configuring backups for your AWS instances and restoring your data when needed. VDR Suite provides agentless backup solution for Amazon EC2 instances. With incremental backups that capture only changed blocks, application-aware backups for consistent data, and flexible storage options, VDR Suite ensures efficient backup management and reliable recovery for your AWS workloads. To get started, head over to the BDR Suite website and click Start Free Trial. As a first step, download and install BDR Suite on Windows or Linux machines, or even as a Docker container. For a step-by-step -step video on how to install and set up backup server, check out the link in the description box. Be sure to fill in the form provided for technical assistance. Once the installation is complete, open the BDR Suite Backup Server console. Enter the username, password, and click Sign In. You can now experience BDR Suite's full-featured 30-day free trial in your environment. As a first step, configure a backup repository to store backup data. You can do this from the Infrastructure Backup Repository menu. You can either use on-premise or remote storage like DAS, NAS, SAN, or use your own public cloud storage, Amazon S3, Azure Blob, Google Cloud, and S3-compatible storage like Wasabi, MinIO, Backblaze, etc. The next step is to add the Azure account as a data source for backup. To do this, go to the Cloud Workloads tab, select the Data Sources menu, and click on AWS Account. On the page that appears, click the Add AWS Account button. To learn more, Refer to the description box for a video link on adding an AWS account as a data source. The AWS account has been successfully added as a data source in the BDR Suite backup server and is now ready for backup configuration. Navigate to Backup, Configure Backup, and choose AWS. This is the basic job details page. Before we proceed with configuration, we need to know that the AWS backup can be configured using two criteria. The first option is AWS Snapshot Backup. This option will let you create automated EBS snapshots and retain them in your AWS account only. The second option is AWS Snapshot Backup with a backup copy to another location. This option creates a snapshot in AWS and copies the data to your chosen storage, local, remote, or cloud. First, let's look into the configuration steps for AWS Snapshot Backup. In the Basic Job Details page, enter all the required details and make sure to select the Only EBS Snapshot Backup as the backup option. Now click Next. This is the Instance Selection page. Use the drop-down menu to choose the desired AWS account. Select your preferred region. Now click on List Instances button. All instances within that region will be displayed. You can use the Filter option to narrow down the instances based on criteria such as availability zone, platform type, status, instance type, and instance status. Once the filter is applied, you can either choose the full instance list or just choose the specific AWS instance that you wish to back up. Next, you can enable the application-aware processing to ensure transaction-consistent backups of your Microsoft applications. Additionally, you can enable pre-post scripts to run before and after the backup job. You can also mention the timeout. Now click on Next. BDR Suite offers flexible backup scheduling options. Select the backup frequency for incremental backups. For this demo, I've configured daily backups at 9 p.m. Only the initial backup is full. After that, it's forever incremental backups. I've also chosen the default values for the advanced backup settings. Once done, click on Next to proceed. Select the number of snapshots to retain. BDR Suite for AWS captures snapshots at scheduled times and stores them in the same AWS account. Setting a retention limit of five snapshots will delete the oldest snapshot when a new backup is taken, keeping only the five most recent. Once done, click Next to proceed. Finally, review your backup job configuration. If you want to run the backup job immediately after configuration, you can check the box and click Save. Click Schedule Now on the confirmation dialog. Then you will be redirected to the list of jobs page. All right, now let's see the second type of configuration, which is the AWS Snapshot Backup with backup copy to another location. On the Basic Job Details page, 
enter the necessary information and select EBS Snapshot Backup with Backup Copy to another location as the backup option. Also, select the backup repository for storing the copy, then click Next. Select the AWS account, select the region and click on List Instance button. Apply the filter based on your requirements and the instances will be listed accordingly. Either select all the listed instances for backup or select the specific ones. For the selected instance, you can enable application-aware processing to ensure transaction-consistent backups of your Microsoft applications. Additionally, you can enable pre-post scripts to run scripts before and after the backup job. You can also mention the timeout. Now click on Next. BDR Suite offers flexible backup scheduling options. Select the backup frequency for incremental backups. For this demo, I've configured daily backups at 9 p.m. Only the initial backup is full. After that, it's forever incremental backups. I've also chosen the default values for the advanced backup settings. Once done, click on Next to proceed. Now, select how many snapshots you'd like to retain in your AWS account. For example, setting a retention limit of five will delete the oldest snapshot when a new one is taken, keeping only the latest five. Next, you can set the retention for the backup data stored in local or cloud storage. If left disabled, all restore points will be kept indefinitely. You can enable retention and customize the policies such as the number of days or versions you want to retain as per your storage and compliance requirements. Once done, click Next to proceed. Finally, review your backup job configuration. If you want to run the backup job immediately after configuration, you can check the box and click Save. Click Schedule Now on the confirmation dialog. You will be redirected to List of Jobs page. Click on the Progress icon to view the backup progress. Once the backup is completed, you can edit, check status, view reports, and manage your backup jobs from here. Click on the Report icon to view the backup reports. All right, now let's see about the various AWS recovery options. In the BDR Suite Backup Server, navigate to the Recovery menu and choose Restore Backup Data to proceed. All backup jobs are listed. Click the Restore button next to the specific backup job you wish to restore. BDR Suite Backup Server supports these different types of recovery options for AWS. If your backup is configured using the AWS Snapshot method, only the two highlighted restore options will be available. If you configured your backup using the second method, AWS Snapshot Backup, with a copy to another location, then all restore options will be available. Let's look at these various restore options one by one. The first type of restore that we will cover is the EC2 instance recovery from EBS Snapshot. Choose the EC2 instance and select the option EC2 instance recovery from EBS Snapshot. You can choose this restore option to utilize backup snapshots from your AWS account for recovering an entire EC2 instance. Now click Next. Select the restore point you want to recover the backup data from, and then click Next. The launch will automatically happen from the snapshots by default. During recovery, a new AMI image will be registered to launch the backup instance. You can define the AMI image handling after recovery in two ways. In the first option, the image will be used for recovery and automatically deregistered after restoring, and no images will be available after recovery. By selecting the second option, the AMI image will not be deregistered after recovery. This is useful if you want to use this restored image to create similar instances in the future. Choose Key Pair for the selected instance to perform the restoration and select the number of instances to launch. Now, select the volumes you wish to attach to the restored instance and enter the other required details. Now click Next. Review all the recovery configurations and then click Restore. Click OK Proceed to start the restore process. You'll be redirected to the Restore Backup Data page. You can click on the Restore Progress icon to view the restore progress. Once the recovery is complete, the EC2 instance will be created in the AWS account. Now click on the Report icon to view the Recovery Report page, and click on the Log icon to view the Restore Logs. The second type of restore is the EC2 Volume Recovery from EBS Snapshot. You can choose this restore option to utilize backup snapshots from your AWS account for recovering the individual EC2 volumes. 
Select the Restore type and click Next. Choose the Restore point and click Next. On this page, you have to choose the Restore Volume options. When attaching the backup volume to the same instance, based on the availability of the device you choose for Restore, different cases may arise. So, you can choose the Attach behavior to be followed during recovery by selecting one among the listed options. If you select the first option, then volume will be attached only if the target device is free. If you select the second option, and when the target device is taken, the attached volume will be switched with the recovery volume. The old volume will be detached, but not deleted. And selecting the third option, then the recovery volume will be attached to the device, and the previously attached volume will be deleted. Now select the volumes which you wish to restore, and enter the required details. Once done, click Next. Review all the recovery configurations, and then click Restore. Click OK Proceed to start the restore process. You'll be redirected to the Restore Backup Data page, where you can see the restore progress. Once the recovery is complete, the EBS volume will be attached to the existing AWS instance. Also, you can click on the Report icon if you want to see the restore reports. The next type of AWS restore is the EC2 instance recovery from Backup Repository. This restore option can be selected to recover an entire EC2 instance using the backup data stored in the BDR Suite's backup repository. Choose the restore type and click Next. Choose the restore point and click Next. You can click on the drop-down menu where your added AWS accounts are listed, from which select an account name. To add a new AWS account, simply click on Add AWS Account. Also select the AWS region and the key pair. Now, configure the network settings by selecting the VPC and the subnet for the instances. Also, enter instance name and its type. Now, click on Next. Now, review the recovery configurations and click on Restore. Click on OK Proceed to confirm. You'll be redirected to the Restore Backup Data page, where you can see the restore progress. Once the restore is complete, the instance will be created in the AWS account. You can click on the Reports icon to view the reports. All right, let's move to the next type of AWS Restore, which is the EC2 Volume Recovery from Backup Repository. Choose the Restore type on this page and click on Next. Choose the Restore point and click Next. On this page, select the account name, the AWS region, and the availability zone to restore the selected volumes. Now select the disks inside the volume, which you wish to restore, and click Next. Review the recovery configuration and click on Restore. Click on OK Proceed to confirm. You'll be redirected to the Restore Backup Data page, where you can see the restore progress. You can click on the Report icon if you want to see the restore reports. The next type of AWS Restore is the File Level Recovery. File Level Recovery allows you to recover specific files or folders from your Windows host granularly. Choose the File Level Recovery as the Restore type and click on Next. Choose the Restore point and click Next. Select the files folders which you wish to restore. Choose the destination host or server by browsing the restore location and click on OK and then on Next button. Review the recovery configuration and click on Restore. Click on OK Proceed to confirm. You will be taken to the Restore Backup page. You can click on the progress icon if you want to see the progress. Once the recovery is done, the recovered files or folders will be available in the restored location. The next AWS recovery option is the Disk Mount. The Disk Mount option mounts the backed up instances disk to the BDR Suite Backup Server's Disk Management Service using the BDR Suite Virtual Drive. This allows you to access backed up instances disks and volumes instantly without restoring the entire backup data. Select the Restore type and click on Next. Choose the Restore points and click on Next. Select the disk you wish to mount and click on Next. Review the recovery configuration and click on Restore. Click on OK Proceed to confirm. You'll be redirected to the Restore Backup Data page. Click on the Progress icon if you want to see the restore progress. Once the recovery is complete, the restored disks will be attached to the machine running the BDR Suite Backup Server, allowing you to access your backed up data instantly. Another AWS recovery option is the Download Disks. Choose the Restore type and click on Next. Choose the Restore point and click on Next. Select the disk which you wish to download. And then, browse the Restore location where you want the selected disk to be downloaded. Now click on OK. Next step is to select the disk format. 
AWS Restore supports the VHD, VMDK, VHDX, flat VMDK, and raw disks formats for download. Select any format as per the requirement and click on Next. Review the recovery configuration and click on Restore. Click on OK, proceed to confirm. You will be taken to the Restore Backup page. You can click on the Restore Progress icon if you want to see the progress. Once the recovery is complete, the restored file will be available at the recovery location. You can also navigate to the Reports menu and select Data Recovery option to see restore reports for various AWS recovery options. For example, let me show you the file level recovery report. That's it. Now it's your turn to try it out. Visit our website to start your 30 day free trial. And if you need any assistance, contact BDR Suite Support. Thanks for watching.